There seems to be a lot of confusion around what a administrator or executor can or cannot do with a decedent's estate. There are legal duties and liabilities that a personal representative must follow when administering a decedent's estate or they'll face legal consequences. Hello again, this is Certified Probate Real Estate Specialist Daryl Williams with Win Win Real Tours here in Southern California. On this program, we assist personal representatives and probate attorneys with estate real property. So if you are new here and you're interested in this type of content, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Let's get started. An estate's assets do not belong to an executor or the administrator. They belong to the estate of the decedent. Immediately after a loved one has passed, someone should go over to the loved one's property and secure all of their assets, secure all cash, secure all jewelry, secure all valuables. An executor or administrator of an estate needs to understand that their primary responsibility and duty as a fiduciary is to settle the estate in the best interest of the heirs and or beneficiaries. The only thing an administrator or an executor is legally entitled to, apart from other beneficiaries or heirs, is the fee for administering the probate. And that fee isn't paid out until the very end of the probate administration called the discharge of the probate. Let's take a look at the personal representative's duty of keeping estate assets separate from their own. The executor or the administrator must keep estate property separate from anyone else's property, including their own. A bank account must be opened in the name of the estate, not the name of the executor. The executor must never mix or transfer estate money into their own personal account. If you as a heir or beneficiary witness this activity from an executor or administrator, you should immediately report it to an official, the court, probate attorney, other heirs or beneficiaries. It is important for beneficiaries and heirs to understand that executors or administrators cannot pay themselves, transfer money to themselves, or take anything from the estate without the permission of the court. If you are aware of something like this happening, again, you need to take action by reporting it to officials. Question of the day. Do you know an heir who commingled estate funds with their own funds? If so, what happened to them? Let us know in the comments below. One of the major issues that comes up in a probate administration too often by heirs and beneficiaries is they believe that the administrator or the executor is mismanaging the estate as it relates to not keeping the assets separate or having taken the assets or claiming the assets as their own. In order to avoid this, you should, again, immediately secure the house and all of the assets in the house once a loved one has passed away. If you've gotten value from this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I'm Daryl Williams. This is Win Win Rule Tours TV. If you have any questions for me, my contact information is in the description.
This video has been for information purposes only. It is not legal advice. I am not an attorney. If you need an attorney, please consult one. If you need an estate planning attorney or probate attorney, feel free to contact me for a referral.